It's July 25, 2013. I posted a video a while ago um, on an interview. The interviewer was Stefan Molyneux. The interviewee was Vincent Falente of Kaiser Permanente Medical Care Program. He was the lead researcher in a massive, extensive study along with the CDC, the results of which you will never hear on mainstream media, never read in mainstream media publications. And that's unfortunate. You're not going to hear about this because this is the taboo that needs to be shattered. This is the taboo that nobody wants to talk about. But it is a factor, a major factor in why we are living in such a profoundly sick, diseased society. This is the summary. It's eight pages long. I'm not going to read the whole thing, and I hope that you click on the link below and do read, because it's important, and it is absolutely, absolutely a factor in why even in the quote-unquote awake crowd we have so much infighting it's a factor in why we can't get through to people today it's a factor in why millions of Americans adult Americans are on psychiatric medications and it's a factor in why these adults are incapable in thinking and acting like they're healthy adults. Adverse childhood experiences. And I bet many of you had an immediate visceral response to hearing those words. Because it is the taboo. And even in the awake crowd, there are awake sheeple who will not ever wake up to this reality that we have so many adults who are acting like they're in seventh grade because they stopped growing early on in their adulthood it's a factor in why we are being shamed and laughed at and called conspiracy theorists it's a factor and why so many people are hurting and even suffering. That whole notion coming from this New Age philosophy that we create our own reality and, well, pain is inevitable, but suffering is a choice. Whenever I hear somebody saying those words, I know they haven't thought about what it is that they're saying and they're just parroting back what they've heard from other people because when you actually think about pain is inevitable and suffering is a choice are you kidding me when so many people are suffering that comes from someone who has not thought about what they're saying and also probably from somebody who can't think beyond their own experience. Their experience is everybody's experience. But you cannot tell me that parents in Iraq that are suffering the consequences of our just bombing with depleted uranium are you going to tell me that those parents who have to suffer the birth defects of the child that they gave birth to because of the depleted uranium, they created their own reality? And well, it's a choice of their suffering? Are you going to tell me that the woman who's watching her children die of starvation in Africa? Or in the good old U.S. of A? Are you going to tell me? that, well, it's their choice to suffer. You 
those people who say those things have obviously had experiences that have been pretty cushy because <laughs> there's a whole lot of suffering and we're seeing it it's manifested here in this country and if you're not waking up to that reality then you're keeping yourself within that comfort zone I will be posting a lot of videos on this and frankly the reason why I haven't done a lot of this is because of the taboo it's pretty frightening sticking your toe in this water because you get slammed and that in itself you need to take a look at if you're one of those who are saying to people to move on well you know it must be a lesson that you have to learn you've manifested this reality are you that is so absurd we don't manifest our own reality there are so many factors that influence an individual's reality and if you're not not willing to take a look at those factors if you're refusing people to talk about all of the factors all of the experiences that they've had then you're just helping that person stay stuck and you're just keeping yourself at that status quo level of your consciousness you've got to get beyond that because it's utterly absurd these beliefs utterly absurd many in the awake community ranting and raving about what our government is doing and turning our collective lives into a nightmare and yet many within that crowd will not recognize how people in the lives of individuals are actually creating nightmares for them personally this this all has to stop and it's one of the reasons why we can't even hold anybody accountable because from our childhoods we're a shame-based culture and the majority of parents actually use shame to teach their children lessons that has to stop but unless you resolve that shame you carry it right smack into your adulthood and anything that triggers that shame for you you will stay away from because shame is a very very powerful and hard to handle feeling but it's a great way to silence people and that's why it's used so often not only is it used collectively with us we're all called conspiracy theorists but many of us use it individually in our own relationships with our families our friends our acquaintances our co-workers we shame and it goes on continuously and it will not stop unless we can resolve it and the only way that we can resolve it is to begin talking about experiences that have been tabooed and every one of us every one of us to this very second as you're listening you are who you are because of your past experiences and we have obliterated the past we've obliterated all of those things that make us human beings talk about emotions feelings uh-uh talk about the past uh-uh we just claim that everybody's mentally ill every behavior has become a mental illness we are a very profoundly sick and diseased society but we've all contributed to it and we all need to take a step back and look at how we are contributing to hurting those in our lives to keeping them silent shaming them thinking that that we know what somebody else should be doing you know but we're not even asking them questions about their lives we don't even care about what experiences they've had in their past we just 
make presumptions based on our own experience, tell people, okay, well, just do this and then move on and don't talk about it again. That goes on all the time. That is a very dangerous practice. The question of what determines adult health and well-being is important to all countries. The Adverse Child Experiences Study is a major American research project that poses the question of whether and how childhood experiences affect adult health decades later. This question is being answered with the ongoing collaboration of Robert Anda and the Centers for Disease Control and the cooperation of 17,421 adults at Kaiser Permanente's Department of Preventive Medicine. The findings from the ACE study provide a remarkable insight into how we become what we are as individuals and as a nation. They are important medically, socially, and economically. Indeed, they have given us reason to reconsider, reconsider the very structure of primary care medical practice in America. The ACE study reveals a powerful relationship between our emotional experiences as children and our physical and mental health as adults, as well as the major causes of adult mortality in the United States. It documents the conversion of traumatic emotional experiences in childhood into organic disease later in life. And because their focus was on physical disease, primary care, the, the primary care medical structure in this country. I will insert in there that the conversion of traumatic emotional experiences in childhood it, it converts into immature behaviors in adults. How does this happen, this reverse alchemy, turning the gold of a newborn infant into the lead, into the lead of a depressed, diseased adult? The study makes clear that time does not heal some of the adverse experiences we found so common in the childhoods of a large population of middle-aged, middle-class Americans. One does not just get over some things, not even 50 years later. I'll read more in another video. I hope that everybody just really takes a look at what they're saying to people. I hope that everybody really reflects on their own values, beliefs, and tries to weed out what they've been indoctrinated to believe and and then can choose what they believe deliberately. That's what it means to be an adult. Alright, well, it's a big subject so thanks for listening to this part of it and see you later guys